Hello Crafty Budgeters, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brittany. On this channel, we are working to craft a budget and a lifestyle to become debt free. Y'all, how are y'all doing? I'm so excited to be doing this video with you. I feel like this has been a long week. Has it been a long week for anyone else? I was so ready for the weekend to come. A lot happened this week. You might get some story time in this video. You'll definitely get some story time in my cash stuffing Sunday video tomorrow or my next video, depending on when you watch this video. But we are about to do our weekly check-in for the first paycheck in August and then set up our paycheck for the second paycheck of August. You already know this month is exciting because it's my birthday month and August is also going by pretty fast, so I just needed to slow down just a tad. All right, before we get into our weekly check-in, our setup, y'all, if you are not a part of the Crafty Budgeter fam, what are you waiting on? We have fun over here. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like and comment. I respond back to all of your comments and y'all, your girl has been slacking a little bit. If I haven't responded to your comments over the past week, I am sorry. I'm going to try to get to them. Your girl has just been busy, been busy, a lot going on, but I will give you my word but that by the end of this weekend, you will have a response back to your comments. My apologies. You know that that's something that I really love do doing because I feel like that's a way that I can have a conversation with you, even if it's virtually, and I appreciate your comments. So your girl's going to do better. I'm going to try to do better. Uh, but yeah, so... Also, before we get into this video, I gotta show you something. Do you see something new in this video? Do you see my new pen? Y'all, the Crafty Budgeter pen has come to make its appearance. I was reached out to by an amazing small business called, let me make sure I zoom in, Sisters Making Creations, Crystal, Ruby, and Yesenia. Y'all, y'all came to play with this pen. When they reached out and said they wanted to do a custom pen for this channel, they watched my videos, enjoy my videos. I'm like, sure, it'll be custom. I told them the colors and knowing that I, I'm a crafter. I'm like, oh, well, they'll just put vinyl over top of it and that'll be it. Y'all, when I tell you this ain't vinyl, hold on, let me see if I can zoom in. This is like inside of the pen. They glittered it, put my name inside, sealed it. Like it's, it's not even, it's smooth. You can't even feel it. Nothing's coming off. Like I was worried that if it was just vinyl on top of the pen, that once I'd use it, it's the wear and tear, the the wording would come off. Nothing's coming off of this. And you know that I'm also like obsessed with good quality pens that have a good point to it, right smooth, the the uh what am I trying to say? The thickness of the pen. That's not the word I'm trying to say, but you know like ink is good quality y'all they they did they think they did their thing it's a gel pen i'm gonna put all of their information their instagram uh in the or if i find they have an etsy shop or something i don't even know if they do but i'm gonna put their instagram down below reach out to them if you need any custom things they don't just do pens they're like they do a lot let me see it says Custom tumblers, string art, blankets, keychains, magnet, hairstyling, and much more. This is their information. So take a look at it. They have an Instagram, Facebook, and a TikTok, as well as their email address. So again, I'll put all of this information below, but you know I have to support my my girls. You know, my sister's really important to me. So when I saw their name, I was like, wait a minute, sister's doing something together. Thank you so much to the three of you. Sisters Making Creations, you did your thing. Check them out, support them. I'm loving it. So 
let's get right into the check-in. So y'all know when I do my check-ins, I like to just show you my two-page calendar spread because I like to give you a visual representation of how we did with our categories. My categories, groceries, eating out, gas, personal, miscellaneous are on the side. So that way I can color coordinate depending on what those expenses are that we did for the week. I had another coat. I had a couple coast co-spends help me no spends this week and the way we do our weeks on this channel is friday to thursday so i had one two three three no spends two snaps to that i'm excited i'm excited because i think we did well this week and we are about to dive deeper to see actually how well we did okay so now let's go a little bit into how much we spent on each of these categories and if we have any money remaining. You know, I have a goal that I wanna stick within the budget and whatever money is left over will roll over to our emergency funds. I haven't had the chance to roll over much over the past couple of weeks because I've been going over, but we're hoping that August is a good month and I'm able to put more to this emergency fund goal. So for groceries, we budgeted $125 and y'all, 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 we spent $108.74, meaning that we have $16.26 remaining. First, let's talk about the pen quality. Dark ink, right smooth, I'm loving it. Second of all, two snaps. We got money left over in groceries, which you know I haven't had in a while. Thankfully, um, I can't give myself that much credit. We had a, I returned some stuff to Walmart and I had like a, a credit. So I was able to use some money on that. So I can't say it's fully me that I like really planned it out that way, but your girl ain't complaining. Yes, your girl still has money, which means your girl is hype. Uh, to go along with my glittery pen, do you see these nails? I glitterified them. If you watched my Cash Stuffing Sunday video last week, you know that I was saying, I painted my nails for y'all and it's probably gonna last till maybe a couple of days, maybe till Wednesday, y'all. It lasted until like Thursday. So better than what I expected, but still not where I'm trying to be. And I just, I really wanted to get my nails done this week too, and that didn't work out. But I think I'm gonna hold out until my birthday week to get my nails done and my hair done and just do a like treat yourself week. I think that's what's gonna happen. So for personal, y'all know, if you watched my video, Cash Up and Sunday, uh, what my personal was going to, the train. I had to go take the train to get into work. So the train round trip, it was $16, so I took that from my personal, and then that means I have $4 left over for eating out. Eating out, we budgeted $50. You know, I increased my eating out budget because we were just going over way too many times in July, so eating out always gets $50. Gas always gets $50. So eating out, we spent, y'all, $40.67, which means we have $9.33 remaining. You see this? Do you see what's happening? Y'all, I'm hype. Ghastly budgeted for $50 and we spent $46.99. So that means we have $3.01 remaining. And to round it out, for miscellaneous, budgeted for $15, y'all, do you see this? The red pen did not come into play. Also, doesn't this just look so nice? I feel so official. When you get your name on stuff, that's when you know you made it. Your girl has made it. Anyway, I spent $15 exactly, which means there's $0 remaining, which means we have an all black everything week two snaps to that. Y'all, I am so proud of our spending this week. We did the dang thing. So now let's see what that means for our full budget. Okay, so this is our full budget that we set up for 
um, last week. Everything stayed the same, actual stayed the same, daycare stayed the same. I added in all of the numbers that we just went over. Some of the numbers might seem different because for personal and miscellaneous, my husband gets a, an amount and then I get an amount, but I always just make it like my husband paid the whole, like spent it all just because once he gets it, I don't ask what's going on. He can figure out what he wants for personal and miscellaneous. And then I just track my own numbers. Bills went and then we did go over for our buffer. Yo, we did, we couldn't have an all black everything because Easy Pass got me again. One more time, y'all. Your girl canceled serious this week, but Easy Pass, can y'all help my husband out? Tell him to give me the password or maybe I'll just give him the money. I'll do that. Since he don't want to give me the password, I'll just give him the money so he can put it in the Easy Pass account. Because if I see another $35 come out, it's going to be, you ain't going to see the nice side of Britney. But anyway, so $35 and then we, something we had to get from Amazon that came out. So it came to $57.20. And then, so our total was $758.60, which gives us a remaining of... $400.40. So then when we come down here, everything stayed the same for a debt snowball, emergency fund, sinking funds, and then we still had a little bit left over, even though we went over $7. When we do the total budget, whatever's remaining go, stays in our checking account. So $25.40 we had left over from what our original budget was. And that gave us a zero base budget. So we did, we did I. Right. We only went over technically $7, but not really because we were under in some of the other categories. So it kind of evens out. But to make sure I see how everything goes, that's why I will track it for the overage for the buffer. I know, kind of doesn't make sense because you're like, well, there's a negative in a way, but then you have extra money. It's just the way the numbers work out. Um, so that is our breakdown and how we did last week. Now let's set up our budget for the second paycheck in August. Okay, so now let's go over the, our set up for this week. So our starting balance, y'all know this isn't including my salary, isn't including mortgage or what our tithes is, but after we account for those things, this is what our starting balance is. So $1,502.60. So then we go to our fixed expenses. So daycare, I did get the, uh, what do you call it? The child tax credit thankfully. So that went into what the starting balance is. So $312 is our total. So that goes to that. Um, daycare is $3.98. Hold on. Let me just go back to daycare for a second. Y'all pray for your girl. Daycare, your boy is, you know, acting up a little bit in daycare and he's only two and a half. He's a toddler, he, but y'all, I've had to talk to the daycare a couple times this week and your girl is just like sick to her stomach, not sick to her stomach, that's exaggerating, but like frustrated. I just need my boy to get it together because I don't want these people at daycare thinking my boy don't know how to act. But I'm also like, he is two and a half and has a lot of energy and yes, isn't going to sit in these different like centers all the time. Like I'm sure he just wants to get up and run around and do his own thing, but I also need him to listen and follow directions. So yeah, good girl and daycare this week wasn't good, but I am praying for a good daycare week coming up. You probably will hear me say this tomorrow in my Cash Stuffing Sunday video because it, it it's taking a toll on your girl. And I'm like, Brittany, let it go. It's normal daycare stuff, but your boy over here breaking books, like come on now. You know how to act. Show these people know how, that you know how to act. You don't do this at home. Like, why are you acting now? Get it together. All right, back to this Apple. $3. And also, if you've been through the same thing at daycare, just remind a girl that, like, it will get better. That, I think I just need people to be like, Brittany, this is normal. You are okay. He is fine. It's normal daycare stuff. Okay, back. 
$3.98 for Apple, Timeshare $32.20, Hulu $12.71, our electric is $162.71, and then our car is $206. Our car total isn't actually this amount, it's actually $629, but be six, yeah, 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 $629. Do you, do you hear me at first? I was like, wait a minute, that sounds like a light. Yes, Brittany, it is a lot. We do pay an arm and a leg for this darn vehicle, which I'm grateful for. We need a vehicle. My husband's happy. He loves his vehicle, but also that's a lot of money. But the reason why it's not the full amount is because I've been putting money aside in our bills account to make sure that it's not that big hit all at one time. We'll talk about that for the next thing. Big payment that's coming up when we get over here. So that comes to $729.60. And then when you take $1,502.60 from the $729.60, let me move y'all up so you can actually see it, it is $773. Then when we go to our variable expenses, so these are the categories I want to track, see how we do throughout the week. Groceries, $115. $15. Eating out and gas, like I said, will always get $50. Personal is getting $45 and miscellaneous is getting $30. That's split between my husband and I and you will see what that split is tomorrow. Bills is getting $100. So our next big uh, expense is our my AES loan, which is $469 at the end of the month. And again, so that way it's not that big blow. We put a little bit of money aside each time and then $50 for our buffer, just in case there's expenses like what happened last week that come out of our account that we don't budget for. So that all comes to $440. And then when you subtract $440 from the total fixed expenses, you get $333. So then what am I going to do with the $333? That comes to what our plan is, and that goes to debt and savings. So our debt snowball. So what, what was going on here? I know how to, like this writing, what happened? What happened? Debt snowball is $1,000, so $250 each week goes to that. Emergency fund always gets $50, and then sinking funds is only getting $33, but that's okay because I'm grateful that I'm able to stuff anything in those sinking funds. So all of that comes to $333. So when you take the $333 from the variable total expenses, to our total for the plan that gives us zero dollars. We are a zero base budget family, so every dollar has a place to go. This is what we are planning for for this week. Understanding that life happens, things can change, but this is what I would like to stick to for our budget for the second paycheck in August. So y'all, that is it. That is our breakdown. I'm excited to see what happens this week. Uh, I'm expecting great things. I'm expecting to have another all black everything week for our categories. Y'all, again, if you enjoyed this and like this video, which like this video, like this pen, which you should, I, I'm using it. I'm probably going to use it the rest of this month for these videos so you can just get an idea of what it looks like. I'm impressed. I'm pleased. And you know, I'm not going to um, tell you something to look into if I don't feel it myself. That's not how this channel runs. If it's something that someone asked to collaborate or asked for me to review something, I'm only going to review and share the things that I would w want to use myself. And so know that I'm not going to just be sharing everything willy nilly. If I'm bringing it to your attention, that means I can vouch for it. So again, make sure you check out Sisters Making Creations. All the contact information is here. I will put it down below. But y'all, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like and comment. Make sure that you subscribe to the Crafty Budgeter fam. We have fun over here. I love doing these videos with you and sharing my journey paying off our $175,000 worth of debt that we started with January of 2020. We are making it happen, reaching our goals, making sacrifices, and having discipline. Y'all, I will see you tomorrow or see you in this next video, depending on when you are watching this, because tomorrow is cash stuffing. So Sunday. I hope you have a great rest of your day. See ya. Bye-bye.